Previously on the Cloud's Daughters. Well, come on, Vicky, you know what old Jelly can do for you, hey? Yeah, apparently he's the best eight second ride on the surf. Oh, eight second day? Slut! He ought to ride. Very funny. No, look, I didn't mean it like that. I... Mum? It suits us what we have. It's uncomplicated. Terry's a good friend. And he's really the best you can do. So did we lose any more lambs? Two gone overnight, one completely eaten. So it's probably not a crow then? No. Fox, feral pig, dog. Maybe. Something big. Should have seen that second lamb. The guts had a good go at the guts. Ugh, eat the squishy organs first. That makes sense. Very high in protein. In the old days, the hunters used to rip the liver out and eat it on the spot. Something wrong, Tess? I'm sorry, I can't eat this. Oh, we've turned you off at lamb's guts and all that. No, it's not just that. It's this bird was running around this afternoon. I suppose to all the chooks you've eaten that have just popped into existence, already dead and dressed. I've never eaten anything I've seen alive before. Well, your loss. It's Roy. He's had a go at him. Oh, he's gashed his stomach. He was supposed to be locked up. How the hell did he get out? Yeah, it's Roy. If he wants to get out, he'll find a way. <laughs> Becky, go and get the 22 out of the study. Is it that bad? That rip's very deep. Looks like a wild pig. It's bound to be an infection for sure. We're not going to shoot him. Claire, look. I put too much training into him. Just. Sort him out as you can. Jodie, get the vet kit. Tess, you want to give me a hand moving the... Yeah, sure. Come on, Roy. Yeah, Roy. Come on. It'll take some time to find your heart and come back home. You could walk for my Every river and find your mountain alone. Cause I'll be there.
I've touched your milk. You've got to drink this. Mm. That's it. Mm. You have a good day, eh? You'll be okay, mate. Old pig, Meg reckons. Isn't that that old boar that takes on the cattle dogs? Hannibal. You're going after him. You've been pig shooting before? Good. Need to sort this out. There's plenty to do around here. Just stick close to the house. I'll keep this one here. Better to be safe than sorry, eh? Mm -hmm. I packed the spotlight earlier in case we're out late. Good idea. I'll keep an eye on Roy. He needs to keep drinking. Yes, sir. I'm serious, Tess. This pig is dangerous. Yeah, I get it. You watch your backs. I don't see why I can't go too. You wouldn't know which end of the pig to shoot? Sure I would. Whichever end's coming at me. What? Well, I'm sure there's a reason you're all throwing yourselves in front of a meat-eating pig, but... Well, it escapes me for now. Roast pork and crackling. Here you go. There goes another food group. <laughs> That's so funny. You keep going, pretty soon you'll be the only vegetarian cattle farmer in the world. <laughs> hey, what about Madonna? Yeah, it might be an idea to keep her locked up for now. We old boars back. I don't find you boring. Oh, thank you, hardly <laughs> seems enough. No, the pig of a thing's been knocking fences down left, right and centre, the cattle missing everywhere. Yeah, we know. Claire and Becky are out looking for him. You're joking. Maniacs. Well, maybe I should hang around for a while, make sure you ladies are OK. Oh, yeah? Why would you do that? Oh, I've got a horse battle maybe. a big table for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that, that's all I called round for, to sort of let you know about the, uh, the feral oh, pigs. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Sarah just called around to let us know about the feral pigs. I know you like fresh air, my sweet, and fresh grass. There's a big bad wolf around. Big bad pig, actually. Cow eating pig. Come on, Madonna. Sorry, I live here. Oh, yes, sure. And I'm the town mayor. Excuse me? You from the city? No, I've been here three months, thanks very much. Not that it's any of your business. Get out of here. You get out of here. I own half this property. And half of this bathroom. Yes. Well, I'm showering in that half you don't own. Piece off. I'll call the police, you know. <laughs> police? You have no idea. I'll go when I'm dressed. Good. So, what are you waiting for? Oh! oh! So I walk in on him, this trespasser, and he has a go at me, this Neanderthal helping himself to our shower. Did you ask his name? We didn't get to do the polite introduction thing, Meg. Hi, I'm Tess. That's a lovely scrotum. Look, left his lucky charm. Yeah, lucky us. Must have been Vladimir. Is there a truck? Yeah, ugly thing. And you kicked him out? Well, I didn't offer him a cup of tea, no. He was totally nude and raving at me. Vladimir's been coming here for years. He's the only pig shooter your dad had any time for. 
Well, what was I supposed to do? Well, Tess, you could have offered him a cup of tea. How can you tell if they're pig tracks or sheep? Look for the dew claw. See? There's a few of them by the looks of it. Any of them big enough to be old Hannibal? Maybe. I reckon he's hooked up with a couple of sows. Oh, great. We might catch him kicking back having a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're heading up this way. There's more tracks. Well, these are fresh. Yep, they might be close. Real careful now. Whoa, Claire! Jeez, Alex. I could have taken a shot at you there. You idiot, I could have killed you. I thought you were a pig, Alex. So, well, hardy ha. How was I supposed to know you're coming up around the corner there? Well, what are you doing this far over? Same thing as you by the look of it. Have you seen anything? No, but there's plenty of tracks around here. Oh, brilliant. There's tracks all over the place. It's too dangerous. Some of us should go and hunt in the Clarny side. Listen, maybe we should uh, swap partners. What do you reckon? Oh. I was this close to shooting you. You wouldn't do that to me. Anyway, how can you mistake me for a pig? Yeah, you're right. I thought you were a cow. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Okay, boy. Take a minute. Oh, how cute is that? Stops him biting the stitches. How is he? Better than I expected. Still not good. Glad Claire didn't shoot him. She wouldn't shoot Roy. He's a mate. Whatever Claire says about working animals. Tough old Claire. Really? Your dad bought him for her. Not long before Christmas. I guess that makes a difference. Listen, Meg, um, about before, I'm sorry. I didn't know Vladimir was a fixture. I just saw this naked guy and that horrible necklace thing and... It's woven pig hair. Woven pig hair? Yes, well, that makes it so much more attractive. Here you go, Mum. Thanks. Yeah, it's like collecting elephant tusks. Why would anyone want to be a hunter? It's their job. And people like Vladimir take pride in doing it well. So this guy makes a living out of killing things and then he wears bits of them around his neck. That's not normal. Well, I saw Naomi Cam wearing a necklace like that in a magazine. <laughs> it looked fantastic. <laughs> I doubt she earned the right to wear it. Vladimir has. And headhunters are allowed to wear little shrunken skulls. Great. We're having chicken stew for dinner tonight. And yes, it was a chook you knew. What? Are you a bit tense, Mum? No more than usual. A lot of changes around here since I came home. Soak that for me, would you? Must get lonely out here sometimes. Well, I've got you, Jode. Lonely's not a word I'd use. A question. Sure. When your mum left Jack, did she have, you know, other boyfriends? Yeah, there are a couple of guys. No one serious. Did they stay over at your house? Sometimes. Is this about Megan Terry? <laughs> sort of. Can't get your head round it. Okay. The thing is, sex is a very important part of our, our physical and our emotional well-being. And spiritual, really. Now, I know it's irky to imagine your mum doing it, but we all have our needs. Now, to deny those needs, well, it's detrimental to our health. Very, very, very detrimental. So, you're okay with it then? With your mum having her boyfriends at home? God, no, I hated it. Oh, so how did you cope? Spent a lot of time at friends' places. Hunter! Dan, go! 
the left thing. You can't see it. Keep it steady. Come steady. on. Take your shot. Yeah. Stop now. <laughs> no, it's gone into the scrub. Meaning you missed. How am I supposed to get a clear shot when you're driving like a lame duck? Meaning you missed. Oh, you want to give it a go then? Let's go. Come on then. The pig's going to die by eight before you get a shot off. You missed it by a mile. Let's not blame the driver. Oh, you wouldn't want to. Yeah, we've lost it. Left, darling, swing the light. Fuck him. What do you reckon? Push on? Absolutely, they're out there. Well, let's swing down towards the water, count the night if we have to. Done deal. Okay, just like old times, eh, Claire? Except no arm wrestling, okay? And no ghost stories, okay? Oh, all my fun! We shouldn't have split up. We might end up taking pot shots at each other again. <laughs> Brick, they're miles away. What? Nothing. Horace <laughs> looking better? Yep. I got him to drink a little to start. That's good. You know, if you wanted Terry to come over for dinner or something, then that's okay by me. Thank you. I think. And if you wanted him to stay the night, then um, that's okay also. Tonight even, there's still time. I wouldn't do that, Jodie. No, really, it's okay. Becky said I could stay at her place whenever I wanted to. I haven't heard Becky say you could stay the night at her place. Uh, Mum, I know having me home has complicated things, but I've got no right to tell you how to run your life. Besides, we all have needs, and to deny those needs is detrimental to our health. So discuss this with Tess, then. Uh, I don't want to be the one to make you unhappy. So if being with Terry is what you want, then you should be with Terry. I just think it's amazing you managed to find someone. Yeah, amazing. Anything you're in back? Nah, Hannibal's gone to ground, I reckon. Thought we might stay the night and keep an eye out for him. Yeah, us too. Mightn't get any movement till morning, though. You don't let those two give you any grief, okay, Claire? Oh, I've got my gun. No. No. Ooh, she's got a gun. Gee, how will I ever sleep tonight? Hey, I'm a better shot than both of you. I've proved it, remember? Get away. 14 and you're a girl. So how come you didn't talk to me for a week afterwards? Well, that was Nick's idea. I might have let you win, but you beat him fair and square. How do you cope with the taste of all the manure you spout, Alex? See, you're still stinging about it, the big blouse. Idiot. Fruitcake. Try hard, Alex. <laughs> I look silly. Mum, you look great. But maybe... What? What? Maybe another lipstick? I mean, colour-wise, you're an autumn person. You need a, a deep amber or a maroon brown. You think so? Mm. Well, I've got two lipsticks, and they're both that. Here, try this. What, you're an autumn person too? No, I'm spring, but, you know, let's wing it. Oh, here, let me. Fantastic. Yeah, scrub up all right. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you.
Still reckon we should have gone back. You can go if you want. No, uh, it's OK. Just just going to get cold later on, you know, and I don't want you getting the flu or anything. I clear need you. Well, it's cold now and I'm starving. Well, I guess I uh, better get dinner started then. That'd be good, thanks. One of us will get to it, Roy. Roy. Here, yeah, boy. Roy. G'day, senorita. Hey. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Off the old posse end, eh? <laughs> Is that you? You owe me big time, Claire. So, what's on the menu, my little tamale? Some of your famous enchilada verde, eh? Chili lamb chops, short notice. Oh, perfect. What about dessert? Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you need to ask? for my sister's dog and I got lost and... Stone the bloody crows. You won't leave me alone, woman. I thought you'd gone already. Anyway, um, look, this is probably the wrong time to apologize, but I... You I'm... think I give a damn? Go home, girl. Thanks a lot. I'm lost. It's night and there are angry pigs everywhere Go and... home. Ouch. I just cut myself shaving. Here. Let me help you. No. Oh, to buggery. Don't be stupid. Sit down. What happened? I wounded the animal and he wounded me. Not the pig. Hannibal. You shot Hannibal? Not the way it should be done. I saw Hannibal. The alleged Hannibal. <laughs> I was about 
No, oh, four years ago? I was out with Dad. Got a shot off. Don't tell us, you missed. <laughs> the bugger charged at the ute, <laughs> just came straight at us. <laughs> I nearly peed my pants. To tell you the truth, I don't think Dad was far off either. <laughs> oh. Why don't you get some sleep, Claire? We might need your expertise with a gun later on, huh? Well, I'll try, but I don't know. But well, not to sleep. Humorous. I think we had enough animal stories. You want an extra blanket? Claire. Claire. She starts snoring. I'm leaving her here. You're gonna need a tetanus shot, you know. If I can drive you back to the homestead. You talk too much. Yeah, but pig wounds get infected, right? You need a doctor. I need to finish the job on the beast. That's what I need to do. But how are you gonna find him like that with that leg? You can't. I won't need to. He'll find me. That's his lot. It's what he does. He's a pig. He's a hunter like me. He didn't ask to be here in this country. He does what he has to do to survive. He should be respected more than most people I meet. Was it a sign of respect when he tore that hole in your leg? That was my fault, not his. He's wounded now and angry. We have to discuss some things, that's all. What are you doing? Having a beer, you want one? Do you know you shouldn't drink while you're hunting? It's really dangerous. Don't you know you get heart attacks from being so stitched up? Just trying to look after you, that's all. Oh, well, I don't need looking after, but thanks. Do you want one or not? I promise the beer police aren't going to come. And if they do, I'll throw myself in front of them and you can run. Okay, Brick? Yeah, it's it's just cold, that's all. Oh, do you want to come in here? It's warmer. No, I don't think so. Just stay here and you know, keep watch. Just in case. I'm not gonna jump you or anything, you know. You don't trust me, do you? No, it's no. I don't trust myself. Right, as rain. Okay. I know the drill. I stay just behind you at all times. You're not coming with me. You're leaving me here? Go home. Head east. All the way across the paddocks. You want me to go back on my own with that crazy pig around? Are you insane? It's me he will be after, not you. His instincts. You should go now. Vladimir, you... Go! Fine. You don't want my help, then don't have it. Girl, don't look for your dog. He will be looking for the pig. Whoever it is, 
my my boyfriend's here and he's got muscles like Schwarzenegger. She's got breeding plans, you know. Horse breeding. Really? I haven't discussed it with the Yonks. Out of blaze. Quarter horse master race. You should talk to her about it. Make some plans. Nah, nah. She want to think about it for a while. Nothing wrong with being sure. Good breeder, that one. Blaze. Oh. You watch. Vladimir, is that you? Biscuits for you. This is stupid. Why don't you come in here and get warm at least? No, it wouldn't be right. Well, come in for a cup of tea at least. The thermos is still hot. Mm, thanks. If you're worried about your reputation spending the night with the town bike, I won't tell. Why do you always put yourself down like that? Because it's true. It's not. That's what people think. What do you think? Becky's strong. You're smart. You always know what to say. You should make people treat you better. You should treat yourself better. I mean, you're almost glow in the dark, you're that beautiful. Anyway, that's, that's what I think. Can I ask you a question? Depends what it is. Why do people call you Brick? What do you reckon? Thick as a brick, I don't know. Doesn't seem to fit. I can't swim. Well, not well, anyway. Throw me in the water and I sink like a brick. <laughs> What's your real name? Brett. Um, 
Your timing really needs some work, Jodie. Um, toilet. Yeah, it's free. Yeah. Why don't you guys get some sleep? I'm okay. Me too. Let's go. I'll drive. You spot, Nick. Yeah. yeah. You got some ammo? Bring it on. Let's do this. I'm so sorry, Mum. I just, I, I just got a bit freaked up there, you know? I didn't mean to spoil your night. Didn't spoil anything. Now go to sleep, please. You know, he can still stay. It's okay, I'll just wear an extra pillow. Good night, Jodie. One, Nick. This side. Did you get it? Yeah, we got him. But it's not an animal. It's a couple of sows. You want to lend me a fur coat, Roy? The animal is dead. Oh, God, I killed him. We both got a pig, all bets are off. Nick. Oh, you're too scared to see which one's heavier, are we? Get away. Well, then put your money where your mouth is, Alex. We didn't get Hannibal. Does it really matter? Becky, you there? Claire, what's up? Yes, it matters. Mine's bigger. Yeah, that depends on which toilet wall we're reading. <laughs> we decided to head home. The boys have got a couple of pigs for dressing. Little ones. <laughs> That'd be right. You gonna meet us there? Uh, listen, uh, Brett's been up all night on watch, shivering. I might let him catch an hour of some sleep, but that's OK. Brett now, is it? No worries. So, are we to believe that he's been up all night guarding the camp that we all born yesterday? Jeez. Julie. Jivoli. So, I didn't cheat him. No, mate. But the tree you hit is mad as a cat snake. Now I must apologize. I should have known your dog would follow you and Hannibal. Well, you did warn me. You saved my life, you know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Your leg's bleeding again. Why don't you come back with me? Um, Meg's got a first aid kit you do brain surgery out of. I have things to do here. Can't they wait? They can't wait. I have to bleed the animal and dress it. The intestines must be removed. Yeah, I get the picture. 
You do what you have to do, I'll bring help to you. I have your necklace at home. You keep that one. You earned it. Yeah, right. I killed a tree, didn't I? Been. I told you to stay in the yards. You're supposed to be looking after him. Roy. Hannibal's dead. You probably think I dreamt the whole thing, right? I don't think that at all. I just want to know what happened, that's all. No, 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 I get it. Vladimir died here a hundred years ago, and every year he comes back to haunt the same place and to hunt the same ghost pig. I don't think ghosts bleed, do they? See? I told you it was amazing. I lighted the gun, I took aim, and then... You shot a tree. OK, I shot a tree, but that's not the point, right? No, the point is you could have got yourself killed. Now, what would have happened if Vladimir hadn't turned up? That would have been pretty bad, I admit. So tell me, what do you think about uh, Hannibal now? OK, I'm glad he's dead. And someone gets a serious pork dinner out of it, is that OK? Sure. That's farming. And Tess, there's another thing. I want to teach you to shoot properly. It's a skill you should know. OK, we'll, um, talk about it, just not now. At least when you can shoot properly, trees will feel a lot safer. Chance, that's what they say. They're all wrong. 